Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is day two in Hawaii. It's another beautiful day, a little windy, as you can tell. So yeah, we have a lot in store. We're excited to explore the island some What's more. What's the today? Oh, I was about to say, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. <laughs> If you guys have not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe right now. We're trying to get to 1,000. <laughs> we are at the Pearl Harbor Museum. This is kind of like the landing zone before you get on the boat and they take you out to the memorial. And it is a beautiful sunny day today. Mia is loving it. So there is quite a long line to get on the boat. This is all standby that's going on. So we were not aware you have to make a reservation online. Learn from our But they do have like a little uh, walkthrough, informational videos, things like that will take you guys through and show you what they have. So we may go ahead and hit those up before we go to the actual um, memorial that the ferry takes you out to and also to the boat. You can see the boat replica I assumed that was attacked. Going to Pearl Harbor, Mia. You and mom get to learn what it is. <laughs> Mia, are you eating your sunscreen? So as you can see, we arrived at the Pearl Harbor Memorial. Um, the day we wanted to go and check it out, we didn't do any reservations. We did not know to do that. So we just showed up and right here where we're at is just the grounds that they have with all the information, um, some monuments, um, really pretty lookouts, but you can walk around all of this area for free. And then um, they have this area as well. It's like a little mini museum, lots of artifacts and quotes and they have like documentaries playing. So that was really nice and fun. But we found out once we got there that it's best to make a reservation. Otherwise, you have to sit in the standby line, which can get really long. So we at first didn't think we would make it on today because there was like 40 people in the standby line. But it did actually move pretty quickly. So if you did not make um, reservations to go, I would definitely try the standby depending on, I guess, the day and how quickly, you know, the line moves. You have a new tour, I think it's every 15 minutes. So as long as you have the time to spare, it's worth waiting in line to be able to go and see the actual Pearl Harbor uh, monument in the water. All right, so, update. We're waiting standby to get on the ferry now. And I think there's a good shot we're gonna be able to go. So we're looking forward to it. And so is Mia. So we are boarding the boat. So we made it today. So if you were like us and you didn't know to make a reservation, there is hope. We waited um, for maybe I would say about 30-ish minutes and were able to get on the boat. There was plenty of people that were also joining us, so the line does move fairly quickly. So hopefully you guys can do what we did if you did not make reservations. It was a very short boat ride to get to the memorial. It was a beautiful day, and as you can see, Mia was absolutely loving it. Okay, so we are off the boat and we are walking onto the memorial and this is the actual location during Pearl Harbor that the USS Arizona was attacked. So they have this kind of drawing out here and a ton of information um, and timeline on how the, th the events kind of went down that day. But this um, in the water, what you're looking at are actual remains of the USS Arizona during the attacks of Pearl Harbor. So that was pretty cool. Once we finished 
finish that, we have the opportunity to board a bus and then go to a different location. This again was free to get to this location. Then once you get there, you have to pay $30 if you want to board the USS Missouri. So what was really cool about this is they let you tour around this battleship, the USS Missouri, which this is what the Arizona would have looked like and all the other ships. This was actually a battleship that they have preserved now in the harbor for you to see. But you get to walk around, see where the um, captains lived, see where they ate, see where the crew worked. Um, pretty much the whole ship was open for you guys to walk around in and we had a lot of fun doing that. So we're leaving, but that looked like a really cool experience too. That was $20 a person. Four and under cannot go on the submarine, so we couldn't have gone anyways with her. We'd had to take turns. So that about wraps up our day here at the Pearl Harbor Memorial. Uh, if you guys have any questions, put it down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer those for you. And as always, thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.